All right, question number seven says, using 2D sin theta is lambda, one calculates d by measuring theta between 0 to 90. Lambda is exactly known. That means there is no error in lambda and error in theta is constant. And as we increase theta, we got to comment on absolute error and fractional error. So first of all, d is lambda by 2 sine theta, that's lambda by 2 cosec theta. Absolute error delta d is lambda by 2 cosec theta cot theta delta theta. We'll not be writing the negative sign because delta d has been termed as the absolute error. And with increase in theta, this is constant, you would see that the product would decrease. So neither it's constant nor it increases. Now we got to comment on fractional error. So if I divide by d, that's division by lambda 2 cosec theta. And you would see the fractional error decreases by using the same logic because cos theta cosec theta gets cancelled. As theta increases, cot theta decreases. So option number d would be correct. Now, this question number 7 has answer D. Let's move to question number 8. Question number 8. Two non-conducting spheres, one having rho, other having minus rho, overlapping here. And we got to comment on the field and potential in the overlapping zone. So if one is R1 vector, other is R2 vector, and if I say this as a vector, net electric field would be by superposition rho by 3 epsilon naught r1 vector minus r2 vector and that comes out to be rho by 3 epsilon naught a vector. And a is the separation between the centers. And you could see the field has constant magnitude inside and even the direction is constant. So the correct option would be C and D. So this will have answer C and D. So now let's proceed to the next question which is comprehension. All right. Now this comprehension says a thermal plant produces electric power 600 kilowatt at 4000 volt. So this specification is at the production point. This is to be transported 20 km away where the electricity is used. It can be transported directly with cable, means you lay the wire and you transport it, or by step up and step down transformer. Means in the production point, you step it up so that voltage would increase and current would decrease and the loss would be checked out. In using transformer, a step up transformer is used at the plant side, that is what I had said, so that the current is decreased and joules loss is checked out and step down at the consumer side. Now based on this, let's say question number 9 says, in direct transmission with cable of resistance 0.4 ohm per kilometer is used. The power dissipated in percentage during transmission, let's say. Let's try to see how much is the current which is being produced. You could see that the current which is produced is 600 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 4000. That's a 600 kilowatt by 4000 volt. And this current will have a loss of I square R. R can easily be found out. The resistance per length is 0.4 ohm per kilometer and we have 20 kilometer length. So total loss divided by the original production 610 raised to the power 3 on solving gives us 30%. Of course, we'll multiply by 100. So question number 9 has answer D. Now the 10th part, let's see. It says using transformer 
Assume ratio of number of turns in primary to secondary is 1 is to 10. That means this is at the power plant. We have increased the voltage. Means the 4000 volt quite obviously will now become 40,000 volt. If power to the consumer is supplied at 200 volt. That means now we got to give the power to the consumer at 200 volt the turn ratio in step down transformer it's something like this this is the powerhouse here is step up then it goes to the transmission then here is step down so 4000 volt was stepped up to 40000 and it is transmitted and now at the time of step down, you have to check it out to 4000 from to 200. It means primary is to secondary voltage would give you the turn ratio. And that's clear, which is 200 is to 1. So question number 10 has answer A. Let's proceed.